Hi you guys. Welcome back to She Glam's YouTube channel. My name is Emily. I am a makeup artist and content creator in LA. And today I'm gonna to be walking you through this makeup look and also showing you She Glam's newest Ember Rose collection. This is full of gems. This is the most beautiful collection I've seen in a while. So I can't wait to walk you through it and also show you how to create this look. So let's get right into it. Let's get ready together. Okay, let's get started. I want to start with my eyes first. I find that that's the easiest to navigate lips and cheek. So let's begin. So let's go ahead and grab our Ember Rose Shadow Quad. There are four shades and it's super compact portable and very cute. For Valentine's Day, it's my priority to look very sultry, so I'm gonna use mostly this deepest brown shade. It's a brown with a hint of plum, and it's perfect for creating that smoked out wing. I already have a bit of concealer on my eye, and that is more than enough to prime for eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna take this on an angled brush and just create a little wing going outward. And you guys, it doesn't have to be perfect. Q-tips exist for this reason. If you mess up your wing, you just go in with a Q-tip and clean up the lower line and sharpen it up. So we'll start with that first line and then we'll connect it and drag it inward towards the inner corner of the eye. I like to keep my darkest shades at the base of my lash line when I'm going out on dates or just want a more sultry look. It adds drama while also feeling somewhat natural. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and blend those edges with that same brush and just soften up this liner. Now I am gonna go in with that mauve shade right next to the brown on a flat brush and I'm just gonna apply it almost like right on top of that brown and just blend those two shades together. Again, this is gonna give us a really pretty and really natural look, and it's gonna help that brown look really soft. And you can go back and forth. If you added too much of that lighter shade, don't be shy, just dip back into your brown and line it again. Now with what's remaining on this brush, I'm just gonna tap it into the lower lash line. Really, really soft just to add a little bit of dimension. And if you want more of a fox eye, you can do this all the way into the inner corner and that will create that fox eye effect. It elongates the eye and it's a really sultry look. If you mess up, you can always just take a little bit of micellar water on a Q-tip and you can clean up that edge. So I'm gonna clean up the outer wing from here to here. And now I have a super sharp wing without even trying. Super easy. And I'll clean up the inner corner wing too because these are the hardest to get really precise. And that already looks so pretty. Now as a last step with this eyeshadow quad, I am going to just go into this light shade and just push this all over the eyelid. This is just gonna set the concealer and keep everything really light and bright because we will be doing a lip with color and a cheek with color. So I feel like I like to pick which one will be the standout. And for today, I feel like it's definitely the lips. And I like to add mascara to the top and the lower lash line. And I do have some extensions on, so that helps. If you love to add a lash, you can add it now. I definitely would. And now we are ready for blush. There are three shades to choose from. I'm gonna layer two, but I'm also gonna go ahead and give you a look at all of the blushes that come in this collection because they are so stunning. There is the shade I'm Yours, which is a personal favorite. And then the brightest or the boldest of them all would be Soulmate. I think this is gonna be a beautiful shade on deeper skin tones. Then there is Love Language. This is more of a red, ready tone. I'm gonna use the shade I'm Yours, and this is gonna be the first color that I use. I'm going to use a brush, and I'm just going to tap it on the apples of the cheeks and blend outward. This is going to ensure that my face looks lifted and bright, blending up and out this way. Now let's do the other side. These are a cream to powder type of formula, 
which is really interesting because they're creamy in the pan, but then they dry down. They do have this touch of glow to them and they're so pretty. I like to bring them in a little bit too, just to get that cute pinch cheek effect. And now that I have this on, I am gonna go in with the shade Love Language as well, and I'm just gonna add a pop to the center of the cheek. One of my favorite makeup artists, she always does a lighter blush all around here, and then she adds a pop right on the apple of the cheek, and I find that it just looks so much brighter and more vibrant and beautiful. Now I do wanna marry the tones on my eyes with the tone of my blush. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this blush and I'm gonna tap it to the eyelid as well. This is just gonna marry all these tones together right onto the lid and just blending gently into the crease. And this is gonna give that cute monochromatic style look. And now there's such a good fusion between the cheek and the eye and it's so simple. And that's it, now we're ready for lips. There is a perfect shade in this collection for everyone. So let me go ahead and swatch each shade for you. This one is Passion, it's a personal fave. Then Cherish You, My Beloved. And last but not least, a nice brown shade called Bliss. I'm gonna start with the lipstick called Cherish You. This is definitely my favorite shade and maybe even my favorite product from this collection. It starts out so creamy and then it dries quickly to a matte, budge proof lip stain. You can also turn it around and use that edge to line the lip. So let me show you how good this wear is. <gasps> There's actually no transfer and that's insane for a color like this. I almost want to do it again because I don't believe it. Even better this time. Oh my gosh, I love it matte, but I have to try the gloss. Let me show you each and every swatch of these colors. We'll start off with one of my favorites again, a shade called Amour. And next, a more pink shade called Unconditional. The boldest shade, Everlasting. And another brownish gloss. This one is really pretty and it's called Treasure. So now let's go in with our beautiful gloss in the shade of more. Oh wow. And these are so silky and so pretty. Oh my gosh. So this is our look and I am loving it. You guys let me know what you think, but I feel like it's the perfect thing for Valentine's Day. It's bold, but also soft in a way with the pinky tones. Uh, but thank you guys for getting ready with me and for checking out the Ember Rose collection. I think it's so beautiful. Make sure you like and subscribe. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm gonna keep this little rosy rose on my desk. Thank you, She Glam, for partnering with me, and I hope to see you guys for the next one.